Example for Blue Kachina. Alright, so there's Blue Kachina in the sky right now. You see how the aura just it grows and grows, right? Um, people who can't stare at the sun, uh, grab your camera and record it. Record the brightness. But just look at the difference from your phone and your eyes. For people who can see it, you can see how the sunlight or it's getting bigger and bigger and spreading out the clouds. Once the clouds, like the clouds has been put up there to block it. When there's not too many of them, at one time, it literally shines through and they keep filling it up and filling it up and filling it up because it's literally breaking through. Like the aura is breaking through because it's trying to hit the planet and the people thing is, it's going to happen either way it goes. I, I don't know if they're trying to use the clouds to reflect the shit back. Since the clouds kind of like reflect light. That's why you see certain rays going through shit and other ways and shit like that. Like, I think they're trying to use the clouds to reflect it. But all that's doing is heating up the atmosphere. And I mean, the ozone layer. That's just gonna make it remove even faster. But that's the deal that everyone says. The deal is the ozone layer. You feel me? It's gonna change our anatomy. <clears throat> Big facts. But that aura from the blue Katrina showing you. If you didn't have no type of Google or YouTube or my video or anybody else videos that blue kachin you see how this you see how this fire is and how it makes a circle around it and as it gets hotter and hotter the circle around it it's aura that's the it made a circle from the fire's aura so I mean, that's what the sun's doing and the hotter and hotter it gets more the flame rise. See how that flame rising right now? The candles pick up on that energy. But as the flame rise higher, the circle around the fire gets bigger. Like the candle wax. And it starts to melt more. As it sits and do what it does. That's what the sun is doing.